I don't know why, it's always right in this area that I begin to vlog, and it's like, work is like two miles back the other way. Anyway guys, uh, welcome to the vlog. This morning, it was a tip bit nipply outside. It's that time of the year to where you use your heater in the morning and your air conditioning in the evening, and it's just weird because it's like indicative of Halloween and fall and the season that is upon us. So with that said, let's get home and hopefully uh, do something today. Build, paint, paint, paint would be good. Roll over. <laughs> Half roll into the shoes. I guess that counts for you. Eh, eh. What this? What this foot? No, you can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> Say, I'm gonna be nine months old on Friday the 13th. Yay! And Anna's birthday is also on Friday the 13th. I know. One yeah, year old girl. on Friday the 13th. <gasps> nine months old on Friday the 13th. You wanna go paint? Are you old enough to paint yet? We'd have to get you like a super, a super, a super, a super HEPA filter. A gas mask. Bouncy, <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Just bouncy. Put, them, put them in a bubble. Roll them around with the paint. They have those big hamster bubbles for adults. Why can't we just put them in a baby bubble? Wow, that'd be cool. As if you couldn't tell with the baby footage, I'm home from work and happy. I'm happy because I'm gonna start painting. Here's a little situation that happened yesterday. I didn't tell you guys about it. I saw all this on the ground. And then I looked over here and I saw that this can was like leaking. And then it's like, well, wait, it's coming from up here. It's like, oh, what? Yeah, there's a hole in the can of free paint. It decided to migrate like all over everything. Unfortunately, I was gonna use that because it looks like I've got a lot of grays there and there, and obviously this one because that's the one that leaked all over. So I'm gonna try and shoot the walls over there in gray. My camera's got baby fingerprints all over it. So anyway, the first walls that we're gonna shoot is gonna be the single wall right here. Most of these other ones, especially in low light, are, are gray for the most part. Uh, we're gonna start shooting these right here, including these two egress exits, and these, and this one, and then I'm just gonna continue with the gray, or a very, very, the darkest color that we have for in here. Then I gotta figure out what color for the kitchen. Those are the two primary rooms, well, three. The hallway, this room, and, and the, um, the one I just said, the kitchen. So I did something smart and not so smart. I took the paint sprayer completely apart last year and cleaned it and left it apart. That was smart, but it was also kind of dumb because it took me a second to figure out how it went back together. So here we go, guys. The first bit of paint sprayed in the haunt. Ooh. So, so far we have one panel done, two, three, and almost four. So it looks like, see, I'm there, I'm there. So like, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. like between 10 to 11 panels is what we can do with a gallon of watered down. Now I remember that one gallon makes two, I think. I can't remember. It's been a while. Anyway, more painting. Here we go. And yes, that is tiny, tiny paint splatters on my glasses. See? Okay, so maybe you can't see. So anyway, just about 12 panels is what one gallon of diluted paint will yield. Um, where's my, oh, I'm not gonna show the painted spider. I painted a spider, guys. Uh, I wanna go on a walk here and I also need to get cleaned up too. So right now I'm kinda like, I'm wondering if I should continue painting or, um, I don't know. It shouldn't take that long if I can just shoot these. You guys remember earlier this year I found a bunch of this paint alongside the road and I'll tell you, you certainly get what you pay for, which for this was nothing because it was free. And that's kind of what we got. It's gray, which is good, but it's, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Uh, my idea is I just wanna blow through some of this paint since we really don't need this much and it takes up a lot of room. Cause I've got this whole thing filled with paint too, just remnants and of course the red's gonna come in handy for the walls, but um, yeah, we just need to blow through the paint. So what I'm thinking about doing is just going in there and painting the walls, whatever color I have the most of. I wanna try and get rid of all this paint over here 
there's actually a blue back there that I think will match the kids. Or I, actually, I'm sorry, the, the bathroom. Right there, that stuff, right there, that blue. I told you guys that when it gets dark outside, that's the time to paint. Paint for whatever area the haunt it's gonna be in. If it's gonna be low light, paint for low light, right? Ah, that's detail painting. That is not this painting because you wanna make sure that you get everything, uh, the whole thing covered, especially if it's gonna be outdoors. So anyway, wrapping it up, trying to stay in frame. Need to go and get all these plastic dots off of me, but I think I'm gonna take a walk first and then I'll shower up. But you guys don't care about that. You're not, ooh, maybe I should bring you guys to the shower with me. Nah, because that would be scary in a bad way. Probably, possibly, I don't know. So here we are, whoa, <laughs> going for a walk. It's only 8.07, Hellions. Oh no. Look, look at it, it's almost dark outside. Again, indicative of the season, it's getting that time. It's getting that time. Yeah, I mean, now that you just said it, it's like, it usually didn't get dark till, until nine. I mean, it's already done yeah. at eight now. September 9th. I know it's blurry, you guys can see it. Take my word for it, it, sa it said September 9th. Trust me, it's scary. Because we opened six days before Halloween, so whatever it is today, like 52, we have like 40, what, 40 something. The high 40s. A month and a half left until we open. <gasps> Moon. Wow, what was that? Did you hear that? I like went I like breathed in my lungs. It's a turd. That is not a turd. That that's a corn piece of corn. Can you guys see these? Aren't these cool? Have you ever seen these lawn ornaments that have the LED lights that change color? Those are so freaking awesome. I don't know what they are. I can't see much more than that. But that is so cool. How would you use those in a haunt? Post it down in the comments. Tell me, I want to know. And she's got legs. She knows how to use them. It, it was the old high school in, in Western Massachusetts. And they were closing it down. And they turned it into a haunted house for the two years that it was abandoned before they refurb refurb refurbished it. And that's where my sisters took me. And I was seven and I was walking with behind my sister Tammy holding her. Her holding thighs, her right okay there. thank you I'm glad and, you clarified well she was taught at the time I was little I was holding <laughs> her waistline and one of the actors was breathing on my neck and in, in a scary in a really scary costume and I was going and then I went and I pulled on Tammy I said wait I said will you stop breathing my neck you have really bad breath <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I started filming you talking about the school was that your first haunted house that was my first haunted house. That's funny, because my first haunted house was also at a school. They just, like, in my school, the, the sixth graders, I think, made a haunted house in the center of, uh, center of the school. I was too scared to go through. Oh, sucker. I never went. I never went through. Are we going this way? I don't know, are we? Yeah, let's go past the, the spooky house. Spooky gothic fence. Look at this fence, guys. I love this fence. This fence makes Troy happy. Real moss effect, too. Because you want to know why? You want to know why? It's real moss. <laughs> it's real moss. <laughs> I was right on track for getting everything edited and everything and getting to bed at a good hour. And then what happened? I took a shower. The drain clogged. So... <laughs> I just spent a lot of time unclogging the drain. But anyway, guys, it's time for COC. I'm talking quietly because people are sleeping. So, shh. HHN Survivor. Oh, God, I remember that vlog with the full moon. Yes, the one that I didn't pixelate, but I did pixelate Keith's butt. Jonesy Smays. The haunt is looking good. Thank you. Our Halloween stuff comes out in the UK on Friday the 13th. That is so cool so that's like in like four days that is awesome awoken nightmare i really hope the roof works as intended this year no one wants to relive that nightmare no i really really don't that was horrible and a lot of stuff got wet and moldy so we're gonna have to like deal with that as we pull it out of storage so that should be interesting rj riviera what do you use to edit the videos well 
on HalloweenHellmouth.com, there is a Frequently Asked Questions, a FAQ section on there, but since I'm already telling you, uh, we use uh, Sony Vegas HD Platinum. <sighs> Tarkus Head. <laughs> Man, I both hate and admire you guys at the same time. Where do you find the time and energy to put together such a cool haunt for Halloween? I don't know. It's like Halloween has its own kind of energy, so I, I typically I get home and it's just like it needs to be done and, and it's fun and I know the end result because we've done this for so many years now. I love the end result of people enjoying themselves and, and making memories and having memories and scaring the living crap out of people. That's fun, too. Silent Zizki. Troy, do you think you're going to rent or buy a warehouse and make Hellmouth bigger? Um, it is quite possible. Um, three years ago, I told myself that we were going to go pro in three years, and now I've got a baby. So that it throws a, a rattle into the mix. Um, so hopefully in the next two or three years, we will go professional um, and have a professional haunted house. That's my goal. I'm not going to divert from it. I'm still going to plug on. It's just now, you know, some things take priority. So thank you guys for watching. Happy haunting. I'm going to throw this like online and grab some Z's and probably some X's and Y's because you have to do those before you, never mind, I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. Happy holiday. That was another terrifying tale from the hell mouth. Tune in tomorrow, boys and ghouls, for another terrifying chapter. Ah, <laughs>